Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be talking about the mummy of Heraclitus. So to begin with, I would like to start the biography of Heraclitus. So first of all, no one exactly knows who Heraclitus is, but researchers know that he was a man with full of wealth and prestige, and it was dated during the 120 through the 140 AD during ancient Egypt times. However, the culture is actually the Romanian and Egyptian. And to get a close, closer look of the mummy, you can see that the mummy actually has red wrappings and the red wrappings is actually really, really rare and important. And it actually has a meaning. And the meaning is that that is about eternity and protection and you're probably wondering why protection so the protection is actually about the afterlife it's in 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 ancient egypt the egyptian actually had a huge belief and a strong point of view of of afterlife which they usually call it the afterlife the golden afterlife and they ask they also have paintings in the mummy mummy which is the protection and where the toes are of the mummy you could actually just see the name of Heraclitus and, and a fun fact about this is that during a cat scan of the mummy they actually found a mummified abyss a bird which which resembles, which is also resembles the protection of Heraclitus for the afterlife. So now, oh, sorry. So now we're gonna be looking for the similarities of other artworks. And one of the big similarities is other Egyptian mummies like King Tut right here. And the similarities is that of that is not just it's not the the whole sarcophagus and the whole design and everything but the actual mummy itself is that that both King Tut, any pharaohs and Heraclitus was actually mummified the same custom way than other Egyptians I ever had. One of the other thing is that the the Heraclitus actually have has a self portrait and we go here it actually has a self portrait of himself which which is also relatable to other great leaders which has self portraits like like Alexander or Napoleon and the thing is that portraits of other people they usually consider to have like great either great wealth and great leadership and the similar thing that Heraclitus has is that he's that that is considered to be like a great wealth of a man and now we're going to see some differences of the artworks and how we compare the King Tut's mummy the differences on that is that King Tut was actually in a golden sarcophagus while Heraclitus wasn't and the self portrait is actually in the mummy it's mummied itself it's not like in a frame or anything and also the the mummy actually like i said before has a painting of its chest which it could actually represent anything compared to king's tut it usually have designs which you see it could be considered like wealth and all that like high ranks and so if you ever wanna if you ever one of you guys have want to see like where I got this information, I got it from the museum that has Heraclitus and a YouTube channel which I will put in this description called the mummification process, which it resembles how Heraclitus was mummified. And that's pretty much where I got it from. So thank you for picking my video. Thank you for choosing my video. Please leave a Please leave a comment of what you think and hope you enjoy. Bye.